Hello Pisces, welcome to my channel. Victoria here at Radiant Moon Tarot. This is your October 2022 money and career reading. If you're new to my channel, hello and welcome to you. If you're returning, welcome back. As always, I'm truly grateful for each and every one of you. Keep in mind, folks, this is a general reading for the collective energy. So not all of the messages that come out will be for all of you. Take the parts that resonate with your situation, leave the rest behind, and also keep in mind that we are, thank you, also looking ahead to the month ahead. We're looking forward. So something may resonate with you uh, a little while down the road. We have some very exciting energy through the month of October. We, of course, have Venus in Libra all the way up until the 23rd. And this is making it easier to find some balance or recognize where we need to find some balance um, or harmony in our world. Um, find that balance between work and home, put up some boundaries somewhere. But it also gives us the ability to make some um, important choices and to see the truth and be honest with ourselves with that Libra energy. Um, but also with that Venus energy there is about um, expressing our feelings following our heart okay but um, we have a full moon in Aries on the 9th of October and that full moon oh man oh man you may be feeling like you need to break free break out of the herd it brings an energy of fire and passion and independence full moons of course are about seeing something through to the completion of a cycle it can also be about letting things go okay so you may be uh you may be moving forward you may uh experience a shift of a cycle of some energy okay and you may find that you need to let something go okay or it's easier to let something go or put up some boundaries or to um you know think about where you want to go next right so detach um from a situation or people or belief systems and things like that sometimes come in there too but the really exciting energy is the new moon eclipse in scorpio on the 25th of october um, eclipses do bring about a little bit of uncertainty, sometimes some surprises, okay, some unexpected opportunities may come to light. Um, it can be a great, great time for manifestation. Make sure you ground your energy really well, okay, because the eclipses can be a little bit chaotic, but in the new moon, they're a lot gentler, okay, but this, um, this uh, eclipse can really open up some magical portals and doors for finding something new, a catalyst for some change, exciting change may lay ahead for you if you feel as though you have lost sight or gone off track of achieving your goals and your dreams, you may find yourself propelled and guided back on track and propelled forward a little bit. Um, you know, you may also um, be really um, pushed forward, okay, on in some way, um, in a completely new direction, a completely new path. So embrace that beautiful energy. And of course, that, um, that eclipse does take place uh, very close to that Venus energy as well. Venus, of course, the planet of love and abundance. So your ability to attract abundance into your life, to find a more prosperity in your life, to open the doors and to accept and receive the opportunities and blessings that may come about for you. Um, great energy for manifestation, right? Things blossoming, your ability to create, give birth to new ideas, new um, new opportunities, a new direction, okay? Make those improvements in your life. So it's an awesome, awesome energy that we have coming in here, following your heart and following your soul and maybe finding something a little bit more positive for yourself. We've got the wolf energy coming in here, highlighting the need for communication. So for one, I think some of I think for someone that uh there may be someone that reaches out to you, okay? And when we have the wolves, wolves um operate in packs, okay? So I think that here that for some of you, somebody that you may have previously worked with or an old friend, uh, something may actually call you and communicate with you out of the blue. They may have an offer, an opportunity for you. Um, maybe it's just your chance to network um, can really be highlighted there with that as well. Okay, but the communication inwardly um, coming incoming communication and also the communication you put out there very important. And again, with the wolves um, being part of a pack, okay, you have a leader. Um, you have the pack and depending on what the wolves are doing, if they're going on a big long trek, you sometimes have someone old and wise uh, heading up the rear like a sacrifice kind of thing um, for predators and things like that. So, you know, it, this could certainly be your time to take the lead. Um, to guide um, a group of people, um, you know, there's a leadership kind of energy coming in here. Um, you're using some wisdom there. You're really expressing yourself and you may actually have really this kind of 
um, natural guidance um, within you. Maybe you have the ability to naturally lead other people and this could be part of your path, um, could be part of where you're meant to be. Okay, but communication also speaks to your inner communication, the stories you tell yourself to be honest and truthful with yourself to make sure you're clear in what it is you want or where, what um, steps that you are taking next. But be open to um, be open to advice, be open to someone else's wisdom, but also be open to the spiritual communication that's coming in here um, for you, because I think that you are being very much shown the way you're being very much guided on your journey. Watch for those repeated numbers, other signs, symbols, and synchronicities um, along your journey. And when you do see those, just stop for a minute. And what was I doing at the time? What was I thinking about the time? Is this a warning signal? Is this something that's saying, hey, you're starting to go off track a little bit and it's time to recenter? Okay. Or is it encouragement, right? You're on the right track. Keep on going. Yes, you can do it. Okay, so um, just watch for those, uh, watch for those um, signs, symbols, and synchronicities, especially repeating numbers. It's one of the most common ways that the universe gives us that guidance. We have intensification coming in here. Now, hmm, this is a nice fiery energy, isn't it? Okay, maybe even, um, so for one, this is showing that you have a lot of power. You have a lot of magic. Okay. And this is a time where things are very, very powerful and strong within you. Your intuition is very strong. Your gut instincts are very strong, but also your ability to attract um, opportunities, your ability to follow your goals and your dreams, to break free from any old cycles and patterns, belief systems, environments, people, okay, that are not serving you, okay? But there's something here, a magical portal. What do we have here? A Stonehenge on this particular card, and there's a magical portal right there, and you are unlocking your true potential. You are unlocking your doors to the future, so believe in yourself. You may also find that there is something that comes along for you in the month ahead that is quite intense. Okay, this could be a conflict within with somebody. This could just be, um, you know, uh, this could be something wonderful. Okay, but it's it's got that intensity about it. Okay, and you know, I think here that communication will really be very important at that time. So if it's something challenging that's quite intense, communication is that key. Okay, honesty and truth will set you free. Okay? Um your ability to express yourself, express your um use your voice, your throat chakra, express your emotions um you know um will really help you to sort out an issue. Okay? But I also just think that there's just a lot of powerful energy that you are harnessing in the universe right now. But we do have the scrying mirror and we have shadow. Now, when we have shadow, there may be something here that you can't quite put your finger on. You may be seeing an image, a vision in your mind's eye. Spirit is showing you something. This could be something positive. This could be a warning. And I don't know if you can really see it in this card because it is quite dark. So we have this mirror and the scrying mirror, right? And when we have a scrying mirror, the, the face of the mirror is black, right? It's not our reflection. It's black so that we can see the images through that. Very, very faintly, there's someone in that mirror. And so there may be something that is starting to come to light for you. Um, and when we have those visions, right, when spirit shows us images, in that scrying mirror. Um, these are the images projected out of our third eye, right? And things that come in through our crown chakra, right? It's all that high level communication. And things come in, in the form of images, okay? And sometimes those images don't always make sense um, right off the bat, okay? So you may need to kind of quiet yourself a little bit. So there may be something here that is entering your mind's eye, something that you are seeing but not quite seeing at the same time. So you may need to kind of take a step back a little bit and just 
Hmm, what does that mean? And then just kind of quiet your mind for a few minutes and see what other messages come in there. Just like when you see the repeating numbers and things like that, you're being shown something, you're being shown um, the way forward, you're being given some guidance or some information. And again, it can be those th those signs of encouragement, but it could also be like a little bit of a heads up about something. Okay, so pay attention to your dreams, um, pay attention to your intuition and other all those other signs symbols and synchronicity something is being shown to you something is coming to light something is coming to the surface all right we've got the hanged man coming in here the star beautiful blessings headed your way love the star energy and we also have the chariot wow bam 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 out of the gate holy moly okay that is very intense energy but very po very positive energy though okay don't get me wrong the hanged man there's something that you need to release or let go of when we have the hanged man energy this is all uh, this is about surrender this is about letting go and being in the flow and when we let go and we be in when we let go of control when we let go of worries and fears and doubts when we surrender to the energies that are around us okay this is where we get enlightenment this is where we get a deeper level of understanding the hanged man gives us the um, ability here to see things from different angles different perspectives okay see the big picture perhaps see someone else's point of view okay and this gives us boom that little bit of um, those that epiphany that clarity that maybe you've been looking for um the hanged man also does bring in a pause though not everyone likes the hanged man because we feel like we're stuck sometimes in in the hanged man energy and the thing is with that is that we're actually not stuck we are in this hanged man mode for a reason for a purpose so if you feel as though you've been stuck or that there hasn't been any movement, or things are just feeling a little bit stagnant. Have a look at that a little bit deeper. There's a reason for that for you. It may be that you need to understand something a little bit more. It may be that you do need to let something go. Worries, fears, doubts, obsessions, okay? The need to control the outcome of things, okay? There is a need to let something go, okay? To accept things as they are so that you can be open and more in the flow. There's a reason, right? Again, that deeper level of understanding, okay? Or maybe you are being shown the big picture and different opportunities and, um, you know, see the potential that situations may have to offer you because there's a lot of blessings headed your way with the star card, right? The star is all about, um, you know, you have uh, setting your intentions, harnessing the power of the universe and bringing them, manifesting them into reality, into your 3D. The star is that Aquarian energy, right? The ability to um, really trust your intuition, set your intentions, set your goals and your wishes. And then it's that connection between the universe and the earth. This star also brings you in some balance and healing as well, but is the big old yes card. It brings success and abundance um, flowing towards you, okay? A lot of things flowing towards, right? You let something go so that the energy can flow, okay? And the star is that big old yes card. It's the miracles happen when the star card makes an appearance, showing you that you are blessed. There's a lot of magic happening around you, okay? But sometimes... There's great things manifesting and opportunities opening up for you in the here and now. Sometimes the star reminds you that a little bit of patience may still be required, reminding you that you may not see it, but there's a lot of things going on in the background, okay? And sometimes it takes a while, okay, for things to really blossom into our 3D world, but energetically they're already there, okay? And don't forget, you know, um, in our human um, concept of time. Okay. We have put time on things because humans need law, order, and structure. Um, and we have put a clock in place. We have put a calendar in place and, but that doesn't exist in the universe. The universe is free flowing and a month in our time is a blink of an eye in the eyes of the universe. So something that may feel like an eternity to you, may not really be in the big picture of things in the big scope of things and spirits like just relax just be in the flow i got a lot of great things happening for you but be aware 
of opportunities. Be aware of the signs that you've got coming in there for you. Okay. Be aware of your intuition, right? You're being guided and you're being shown that path, but success and abundance of all forms is yours for the taking. And, but, but get ready though, because when we have the chariot energy, the chariot is here. When we have things in alignment, when we have things in balance, and when we know what direction and what path that we want to take, we can propel ourselves forward in a big way. The chariot leads us towards victory and success, but it's by your own willpower, by your own determination, and by your own actions that you get the chariot moving and that you get in the flow. So all of the actions, all of the preparation that you are taking right now are leading you down the path to success. Okay. Abundance again is yours where you want to go, right? Sometimes we get stuck. Okay. We get stuck. We may have a perfect opportunity that sits in front of us. Okay. And there may not be anything wrong with it. Right. But if you don't take action, nothing's going to happen. You're going to stay stuck. Okay. Nothing is perfect. And sometimes part of why we get stuck is because we're waiting for perfection. We're waiting for the perfect timing the absolute perfect opportunity. But the thing is, is that we have to look at the potential. And yes, sometimes a little miracle will happen and we'll get everything that we want, everything that we want right there, right, um, right at the right time. But most of the time we get an opportunity that leads us down the path to success that can blossom and grow into something wonderful and magical. Um, should we decide to roll with it? Okay. But we do need to see where something may lead us. Right. And sometimes when you're following your goals, your dreams, when you're looking for that abundance, that prosperity in your life, um, sometimes things start out small and then boom, they explode into something big. OK, but that chariot brings you um, in alignment with your destiny, with your goals, with your dreams. OK, a lot of success that's coming in here for you. So I do think that, I mean, there is a balance coming in here, right? The chariot, you got to get everything in alignment, your spirit and your physical align and boom, off to the races you go. OK, um, the star brings in balance. OK, and also brings in a little bit of healing for you also. Okay. And that hanged man, it's like, yep, I have the ability to see the big picture, see the potential of things, but I'm also letting go of anything that may block my progress along the way. We've got the seven of cups, 10 of pentacles. Oh yeah, baby. Check that out. That is nice. And we also have the fool. Wow. Okay. Beautiful. Make a decision. Okay, the seven of cups, you may feel a little bit overwhelmed, you may feel a little bit uncertain. What if I choose wrong, right? There's a little bit of fear, underlying fear that comes in with the seven of cups, right? You might have, you know, a bunch of different opportunities or, um, you know, a little bit of uh, dreams or something that you're fantasizing about, okay? And, but when it comes time to making a decision, this may bring in some overwhelming energy, Okay, it's like, I don't know, do I want this, 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 this? I don't know. I just don't know. What if I choose, what if I choose wrong and it bites me in the ass? What if I choose this and I win big? Okay, so we can get, um, uh, we can get a little bit too wrapped up. Okay, and we get confused and overwhelmed uh, sometimes when we do need to make a choice and make a decision. So the best thing that we can do in this seven of cups energy is take a step back hanged man, look at the big picture, um, tap into our heart, tap into our intuition, and then just make a choice. Okay. You don't always know the outcome of what you choose. Okay. You have a plan and you certainly have some desires. Okay. But sometimes we just need to go for it. We just need to choose what feels right. What feels good. What feels right. Okay, our heart says, yeah, this feels good. Our intuition is like, hello, I already told you. Okay, and, but it's up to us to put the wheels in motion. Just like that chariot card, it's up to us to take some action and to get going. And every step forward that we take leads us down to that path of prosperity and success. Okay, sometimes we need to course correct along the way. Sometimes we need to change direction. Sometimes we hit an obstacle, a roadblock, but it's all in how we deal with things that, you know, that uh, keep us going or get us stuck again. Okay. But I do think here that you have some options. Okay. And you have something that maybe you're dreaming about here. How do I, you know, how do I get things going? What do I really want? Okay. So think about what you want, make a choice and then, you know, um, 
set some intentions for sure because wow okay you've got some great ability here to really attract a lot of opportunities towards you okay money um money jobs whatever it happens to be for you there's a lot of abundance coming out in your reading and a lot of success coming in your reading, right? Everything's aligning for you. The stars are aligning for you, okay? The only thing that may stand in your way is you, right? That fear, that worry, that angst, okay? Those doubts, all right? But we do have the Ten of Pentacles that's here. And of course, we do have uh, success and abundance, stability and security for the long term with the Ten of Pentacles. So I think here that you're trying to figure out with the Seven of Cups, you're trying to decide how do I get long-term success? How do I get long-term, um, you know, uh, long something that will put me in a position of feeling like I have everything, like I don't need to worry about anything, like I have it all, right? That Ten of Pentacles, right? Feeling as though you're in a good place. You have everything that you need. Okay. For some of you, you are questioning, how do you get there? For some of you, I think here that you have a lot of things blossoming here and you've got a lot of potential. And I think that there may actually even be a little bit of a surprise coming in. The 10 of pentacles is a card of inheritance. We can inherit a lot of things. We can inherit money. We can inherit talent, um, belief systems. Hmm. Okay, um, we can inherit advice and wisdom. Okay, all of those, all of those things. So there may be something that does come to you that may be passed down and that may you may inherit from somebody, even if it's just some words of advice. But I think some of you may have a gift headed towards you, right? The star can certainly bring about some gifts into your world. Okay, so some of you may have a gift, something handed to you. But I do think for some of you that you are really setting some very positive intentions, okay, to find something new or to make those huge improvements that leapfrog forward that you've been looking for. Okay, so keep your eyes open, be ready for something, okay, and don't forget to take action. Okay, we don't want you to get stuck again because when we have the fool card here, you are forging a new path. You are moving forward. You're ready. Okay, there's new beginnings, new opportunities. There's those, um, you know, there's those improvements coming in. There's a journey forward that's here for you. Okay, you're seeking out new opportunities. You're seeking out your path forward. Okay, your next steps um, in life to find that prosperity, to find that abundance. Okay, but you need to believe in yourself. You need to be honest with yourself. You need to be truthful with yourself and you need to trust that you can make the right decision, that you can make the right choice and that you are on the right path. You need to trust that the universe has your best interests at heart always, forever and always, even when it doesn't seem that way. But you may need to take a leap. The fool card brings in a leap of faith. The fool is the start of an adventure. The fool doesn't carry a lot of luggage a lot of baggage. Okay. The fool just has this little backpack or in this particular card, this purse. And this purse is all of the resources, the ideas, the thoughts, the inspiration, um, the tools of life, the wisdom to move forward, right? You don't need to carry a lot of baggage. You don't need to have a lot of resources to find what it is that you're looking for. You just need to get going. The fool has no idea what lies ahead, just knows that, you know what, I got to get started. Okay. And if I don't leap forward and if I don't make some moves, I'm just going to sit here. I'm not going to go anywhere. Okay. And you know, again, the path forward is always a little bit uncertain. And that's why sometimes we get a little bit stuck in the seven of cups energy, right? Because it's like, I've made this choice, but what if it, what if it fails, right? We have a fear of failure. And, you know, but I think here that you are moving towards something wonderful. Okay. I think things are blossoming in your world. I think you've got some money coming in here or at least the potential to make more money. Okay. And again, there might be something here that is handed down to you with that 10 of pentacles energy. We've got the six of wands, another card of victory and success, the world card, right? We're completing one cycle and stepping forward into something new. And we've got a knight of pentacles. Okay. Now the knight of pentacles reminds us that slow and steady wins the race. Okay. The knight of pentacles is that reminder that, you know, sometimes we feel like we're progressing at that snail's pace. We've got that snail on there. 
Um, and sometimes we need to be a little patient. We do need to do our due diligence, though, in some cases, too, right? We need to put one foot in front of the other. We need to um, do a little bit of homework or research, okay? But the Knight of Pentacles ultimately does um, lead us down the path to success, okay? So with the Six of Wands here, um, I do feel that it is your time to shine. The Six of Wands is recognition, for your hard work, for your dedication, you may get some rewards, you may get some, you know, maybe a bonus or a raise or a promotion, uh, something like that may certainly come your way, okay, or that may um, be a door that's opening for you. But the Six of Wands um, can certainly be a cause for celebration, for overcoming some challenges, giving yourself a pat on the back, um, even as well can come in there with that. But the Six of Wands is about being in the spotlight. And, you know, so this is your time to be in that spotlight, to believe in yourself, to be confident in yourself, to move forward, to embrace some change, to f make wise decisions. Sometimes we, you know, we, we may have an opportunity that lays ahead for us, especially when it comes to not just our jobs, but our money, right? Our money, it's like some people are like, oh, money, whatever, easy come, easy go. But we don't all think that way, right? Especially if you've ever lost everything and you've had to rebuild, Okay, it's always very difficult um, to kind of let go of, uh, you know, it's kind of hard to embrace the easy come, easy go mentality, right? It's easier said than done sometimes, especially if you have had those losses. But I think here that spirit's really trying to instill some confidence in you to make the right choices, to make the right investments, to make the right moves, okay? And to really believe in yourself and believe that, you know, there are opportunities out there or that you can make the wise decisions um, with your with your money, with your finances, okay? And so believe in yourself and be confident. This is also the Six of Wands, a card of moving forward. So again, we do have a couple of things, we do have a few energies of moving forward. So after a time of stagnation um, or a time where you didn't feel like there was a lot happening, things are starting to shift for you, okay? But you do need to make a decision. You may need to let some things go. And that way, all of this wonderful energy can really flow around you but the world card okay you have successfully completed a cycle completed a journey you're seeing something through to completion the world brings about abundance and success it also brings in um the ability to celebrate right to have a good time okay so again there might be some sort of party or celebration interesting uh very interesting energy here um because we don't have the death card or anything okay but we do have the ten of pentacles inheritance, family, generations. Um, we do have the six of wands, someone in the spotlight. And we have the world card, which can certainly represent those th those things like anniversaries, birthdays, maybe even family reunions, those kind of things. And, you know, there just may be something, there may be a celebration of life. And this could actually bring you some financial improvements somewhere there or maybe even some words of wisdom okay a helping hand even may come in there for you because this world card is about that completion of a cycle so um, I do feel that there may be some sort of celebration or gathering that either someone's throwing something throwing a party or something in your favor in your benefit okay but I think maybe there's some you're attending something okay and this can somehow benefit you it could be like a business trip that can come in here too, right? Um, maybe you're going to a conference or something like that. Um, at networking, okay, making more connections. Okay, it's it's a super duper positive vibe. All right, that's coming in there with that. And think this a little bit of magic in the air for you. It's like right place, right time. Everything lines up for you and you're good to go. Okay, but the world card can also indicate that you are at the end of a cycle and you are ready to move forward, expand your horizons and start something new. So whether this is leveling up, in your current situation, whether this is trying a new approach, a different approach, or looking for a new job, okay, um, whatever it is for you, you're very much on the right track, okay, especially with this Knight of Pentacles coming in here, there is some sort of an offer that may head your way, okay, this can be a gift that comes your way, knowledge, um, a helping hand, okay, uh, this can just be that you discover, um, you know, if especially if you're investing money, okay, that maybe your, your way to abundance and success is those long-term safe um, in, um, investments. Okay, a lot of 
chaos around the world where it comes to investment. And this is not the energy around here for risky ventures. Okay. This is all about stability, security for the long term. So you may, if you're looking to invest your money, you may be a little bit better off right now um, to take the safer approach rather than the risky approach. Okay. Um, and that may be your key to success, right? Think of those long-term investments, um, retirement savings plans, things like that. I don't know. Um, I'm not exactly, I'm not the best financial advisor for you. So, um, but just, just, uh, just a little bit of a heads up there. Okay. We do sometimes look for those get rich quick schemes, but this is probably not the time for that. Okay. So just a little heads up there from spirit. Okay. But I think the Knight of Pentacles here is you either finding some information, being patient, um, you know, um, looking at opportunities that come your way, making wise decisions and wise choices, certainly one of moving forward, but albeit slowly. Okay. It's looking at the, at the details of things. Okay. To make sure that you're on the right track or, um, you know, that you're not making a mistake. Okay. Getting deeper level of understanding, but I do think that there is a job offer, um, or an investment opportunity that does present itself to you. Um, to some of you. Um, and it's something that's really exciting. That fool card does bring about a lot of excitement into the mix. Okay. Um, as does the chariot card. Okay. So we do have some exciting things opening up for you. Um, now I do have to say uh, the world card um, with that Aquarian energy, because that Aquarian energy with the star can certainly represent like the internet. So part of your key to success may be something on a global level with the world card maybe something web-based okay maybe you can get a work from home opportunity right that um that home energy there with that ten of pentacles um maybe you can get a work from home opportunity that's really good for you uh you might get um you know you're finding a new uh a new opportunity may be on the internet somewhere okay but with the world card the chariot card coming out there um not to mention the six of wands all about movement um, there may be a relocation um, in the mix for some of you. Now we could just be relocating to maybe a global company with that world card. Um, but I do think that maybe for someone, your key to success may lie in another city um, from where you currently live right now. So whether you have to commute okay, to get to your job, sometimes we do need to commute a little bit longer uh, to get what it is we're looking for. But you may also be moving. Okay, picking up your packing your bags, packing up your house and moving to a different location. And that could actually, um, you know, be part of uh, a new opportunity that you do discover. We've got the book, as I say, discover, right? That um, hanged man energy. The book is the book of secrets. So this is information or knowledge, something you need to research. Okay, but this can also be something um, that is hidden, is revealed to you, a revelation. We do have a letter and we've got the birds. Okay, so communication. The letter is all about communication, usually written communication. Um, the birds can also be about communication, usually verbal communication, okay, and something headed your way. So remember a little bit earlier in your reading, I did say that perhaps someone may reach out to you, perhaps an old friend, an old business colleague, an old boss, something like that. They may come and seek you out, okay, and they have something to offer you, okay? So this could certainly be something very exciting coming in here for some of you. Um, but I also feel here that there's a lot of communication around you. So incoming communication, um, you know, you reaching out and communicating with others. Um, and I think it's quite exciting. Now, there is also a little bit of um, anxiety that may come in here. The birds can sometimes bring in a little bit of anxiety. Okay, busy, busy energy, right? If you think about birds building their nests, they're always busy. They're always doing something. Okay, and so, you know, you may have um, a lot of different communication, but you may also um, just be a little bit anxious, okay? Sometimes it's the fear of the unknown, okay? A little bit of an uncertainty um, that may come in there, okay? But there may also be some partnerships that come up here as well because the birds, we can represent two old birds kind of thing. Um, there might be a couple of people that may have some um, advice, some wisdom, maybe even some older folk in your life um, that may be able to give you some advice or maybe there is... Um, something that gets delivered to you with that letter, some form of official kind of documentation. Um, e, because we do have inheritance coming in, we've got the book, reading of 
a will or some documents okay and this is you getting a letter and uh, yeah so anyways so some of you may have that hopefully for you it's a living inheritance that would be um, a lot easier we've got the garden coming in there interesting we've got the woman and we also have the fish wow okay this is awesome now the woman card that shows up here can either be you or be someone very important to your financial situation. This can be someone you know. It may not be someone that you already know. It may be someone that, um, you know, that comes into your world, someone previously unknown to you. The garden represents the social aspect of things, okay? You getting out there, socializing, networking, putting your name out there, doing some research, okay? Um, out Research and homework, right? Discovering opportunities, okay? And that woman can certainly be you chain, um, taking the lead, taking charge on your path to abundance. The fish brings in money, brings in abundance, okay? But also brings in a lot of opportunities. So I think there's some doors opening for you here. So you could certainly be the one, um, you know, the, uh, it's all up to you, just like we see with that chariot card, right? It's all up to you. The actions that you take, okay, are what leads you forward, okay? Um, so trust yourself to make the right decisions. But I also do think here there's a very important person who may have an invitation or an offer uh, or even advice for you. Okay, that garden with the woman, someone, and well, we also have the letter there, right? So some sort of invitation, but the garden is like a lot of people and the fish is like, you know, a lot. So I think here that um, you may be really expanding your horizons, okay? There might be a global, again, a global company, like a big company somewhere there or like an internet opportunity, social media, maybe, um, somewhere along the way now, it could just be that you get uh, some communication, some news, some messages via social media, your LinkedIn, your Facebook or something like that. Okay, it could certainly be how someone reaches out, or it could be your key to success. All right, but let's see what else we've got the bear. Wow. The stork. Whoa. And mice. Okay. Wow. Okay. So the only kind of scary card in here, I mean, we do have the birds can bring in some stress and whatever. It's not a super negative card or anything. The mice, hmm, there may be a situation around you that is deteriorated a little bit. The mice, think of mice is nibbling away at things in your cupboard. Also a little bit of anxiety. Some stress can come in with the mice. I mean, imagine if you found mice in your kitchen. Okay. Um, but the mice can also represent something small. Okay, so you may have multiple and it all can also multiply things. So can the birds. So you may have a lot of different opportunities that are opening up for you. But the bear, the bear is financial success. This is big boss energy. This is success to the point where people are jealous of you or people are a little bit envious of you. But this is also, you know, also you being really strong. So, you know, you are in a position of power and strength. So don't discount your um, abilities. Okay. Don't, um, you know, don't talk yourself out of something. Okay. Believe in yourself, be confident, be that big bear. Okay. You know, speak to your strengths. Okay. Because we do have new things coming in here for you. The stork, interesting that this should come out. The stork represents deliveries, new things or those big improvements in your world. So there are things happening for you here. Okay. And again, maybe some delivery of some news, some messages. It is card number 17, which we already have the star card, which is number 17 there as well. But the stork can also represent a change in residence. Now this could be a change in where you live, as we already said earlier, but a change in residence, quite often we have our work life, right? right? We spend so much time at work, it feels like our second home. So a change in your workplace residence, right? A change is available for you or those improvements, a leveling up, okay? The bear is like your boss, okay? So maybe you have the ability, you, maybe your boss is the key to your success in some level, um, but this can also represent your ability to really level up in a position of leadership, right? We said that with the wolf energy already is that you may be natural born leaders, Okay, and maybe you have the ability here to really lead other people to fix things that have gone a little bit sideways, right? That mice energy, there's people that need a leader, that they need someone who is really strong, who can lead them through times of change. The stork brings change. 
Okay. Um, and I think here that you have the potential to really um, step into that lead role so that you can um, lead and guide others to fix situations and to make those improvements that are necessary. But the mice can also represent uh, loss or yeah, loss. So I feel here also that there's more than one opportunity opening up for you. And if one door closes, don't worry because another one is about to open. Okay. And so really keep your eye forward. All right. Um, we don't always, we don't always hit the mark on the first try, right? Sometimes we need to try again but we can't get stuck in the things that we haven't achieved, okay? The only way forward is onwards and upwards, okay? Otherwise, we do get stuck there, but I think here there's so much positive energy that's surrounding you. It's incredible here, Pisces. This really is your time to shine, okay? Let's see what other cards we've got coming out for you. Focus on the positive. There you go. We've got new moon and Sagittarius um, energy coming in here for you, bringing in your passion, your fire, your strength, your ability to take action, to, see, to achieve your goals. Focus on the positive though. Okay. We've already said that in your reading. Don't focus. We just finished saying it actually. So don't focus on what you don't have or what you haven't achieved. Focus on how to resolve things, how to move forward. Focus on what you want to attract it to your life, where you want to go and you will get more of that. Okay. So focus on that positive. Okay. But new beginnings for you. And we also have Aquarian energy coming out again. Okay. Um, so that Aquarian energy, very um, important for you. Aquarian is very futuristic energy. Okay. But also um, very great at seeing that big picture. So trust the universe. The universe has your back, Jack. Okay. The universe is working very hard in the background to make your dreams, your affirmations, your goals come to fruition. Okay. So trust that universe, trust your intuition, lead with your heart, with your soul, and you will make the right choices and you will discover a world of opportunity opening up for you there. Okay, so believe in yourself and believe in the universe. Beautiful energy. I'm going to leave that there for you guys. I hope there was something here that resonated with you on some level. If there was, please don't forget to hit like on this video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I thank you so very much for watching and I'll see you guys later. Bye.